For me, it's the nostalgia. You know, I think anybody who kind of grew up playing it, this was, uh, it was like a labor of love. You know, it was before Game Boys were backlit. So, you know, for me playing it in uh, long car rides, you know, I would have to wait until we passed under, a, under like a street light or something so I could like get to the next spot really quick. So whenever I think of Pokemon, I always think of uh, just playing it. And it was one of the things that kind of like brought uh, my brothers and I together as kids, since, you know, we're always fighting. Uh, so it's just, just a lot of good memories. I'm Dan McWilliams. Um, I'm based out in Los Angeles at Black Anchor Collective. I love anime, anything nerdy. I'm kind of a weeb, so <laughs> anything like that. Uh, I love doing floral work too, portraits. So it's not, you know, it's not all just anime. Really anything that's like kind of a challenge or I'll be able to just kind of kick back and like chat with my client. Uh, so I started collecting tattoos pretty young. I played in some bands and just always loved the artwork and I ended up always being the one that would, you know, kind of like design shirts and stuff like that uh, for my band, buddies' bands, that kind of stuff. And uh, I just remember getting tattooed. I loved it. You know, I thought it was like the coolest thing. I was, I was that customer that every time I would get tattooed, I would just watch. And I'm sure the artist wanted me to like move my head out of the way, but um, I just loved it, so I think I've, I've always been drawn to it at a young age. It, it's pretty tough to find an apprenticeship with a good artist. I did do like a couple partial apprenticeships, but for whatever reason with my band and, you know, tattooers were not notoriously great at like keeping schedules and being reliable, so uh, things kind of fell through a few times, so I would say I'm mostly self-taught. Uh, before I started tattooing, the only kind of drawing that I did was graphite. So the whole color thing to me was, it just looked like magic. I had no idea how they did it, you know, with multiple pencils or paints. And I think once I started learning how to paint, it really did kind of feel like the last little bit of magic that's like left. So um, I, I just wanted to translate that into my tattooing. I started um, just like a lot of people, you know, walk-ins, tons of infinity symbols, um, lettering until my fingers hurt, and then just kind of worked my way up. I was, I was always practicing realism on the side. So now that I'm able to do it uh, full time, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I think there's a few different things for me that, that is um, kind of always a challenge. It's, you know, trying to anticipate how the skin tone's gonna affect it after it heals. Like if somebody has more olive skin tones, like is that gonna mute out your purples or anything like that? So I'm always kind of thinking to myself, you know, how can I make this like the best version for this client? And then of course, like smooth color blends, that's like every artist bane of existence. Um, but I, I think also uh, trying to create volume, you know, on skin, like give somebody the illusion of uh, like 3D realism is a challenge. Today, I'm especially psyched out of my mind because I'm doing a Game Boy Color with a Mewtwo coming out of it. He was like the ultimate badass growing up I always wanted to grow up to be Mewtwo, so I turned into this like scrawny dude, but uh, I get to tattoo him, so that's cool. I like to take a lot of my own references whenever possible. So even if it's like a Game Boy, you know, I feel like putting a little bit more into it. So for this one, I, I actually have this Game Boy, so I took the photo of it, and then from there, you know, gathered a bunch of reference photos of Mewtwo, and I always try to push it more towards that realism side, so anything I can do to kind of like enhance it, uh, like secondary light sources, anything like that. And then um, right now I've been using my iPad for most everything design, so uh, I just go into Procreate and just kind of paint over things and just pretty much tweak it until I feel like I would wear it as a tattoo. 
that's kind of like what I'm always going for. I, I generally try to keep it simple. I get my line work in first, even though a lot of times it doesn't look like it's outlined. I'll still be color lining everything and uh, just trying to make it hold up over time. Um, and then I just start with my darks and kind of work my way through it.